It's not the climate that draws investors to Western Siberia, but the vast gas reserves. The German company Wintershall operates here, along with Russia's energy giant Gazprom. The working conditions might be inhospitable, but the yield is high. At the Winters Hall headquarters in the German city of Kassel, managers are celebrating record profits of 1.8 billion euros. But the current wrangling over Ukraine and the sanctions on Russia could affect business. The current situation cannot be regarded as either black or white. Ukraine has both Russian and European characteristics and both form part of the national identity. What we have to do now is build bridges, not tear them down. Winters Hall is definitely not interested in tearing bridges down, but in expanding business dealings with Russia. The company has just secured access to new gas reserves. In return, Gazprom will gain full control over business hitherto conducted in partnership with Winters Hall. The Russian giant will take over Western Europe's largest gas reserves in Reden, parts of reservoirs in northern Germany and Austria, Erdgas Handelhaus in Zug in Switzerland and oil and gas drilling platforms in the North Sea. Energy expert Claudia Kempfert opposes the idea of handing German reserves to Russia. The danger, as we saw in the last two crises, is that Russia will use gas as a political weapon. We now know that the gas tap can be turned off, and when that happens, that we don't have alternatives in place and can't rely on the reserves, because they might also be a part of the political strategy. The Kremlin keeps Gazprom, which has a presence in Berlin, on a tight leash. In Berlin last week, the executive chairman told reporters that Russia would supply 40% of Germany's gas. In reference to Ukraine, he said he did not want a gas crisis and would not exert pressure for the payments of unpaid bills. We understand the role this plays in preventing economic collapse in Ukraine. And we don't want to take any risks with regard to our gas delivery to Europe. And that was that. No questions invited. Come the middle of the year, the natural gas reservoir near Reden, which accounts for nearly 20% of Germany's reserves, will belong to Gazprom. The European Commission approved the trade-off despite its own calls for greater independence from Russian energy. The German Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy is responsible for assessing risks to German security interests. When asked for a statement on the deal, it said, The BMWI does not see this sort of exchange transaction as a threat to gas supplies. Germany is and will remain open to foreign investment in the future. I think a different decision should have been taken. The reserves are vital for energy supply in Germany. We need strategic oil and gas reserves. We have to have 90 days worth in store. It doesn't make sense for such reserves to belong to our political opponents rather than to us. And when that happens, politicians should take action. Back at Winters Hall, nobody understands what all the fuss is about. The company wants to get away from the storage trade and expand their highly profitable production arm. We need gas from Russia. Anything else would be crazy. We've built the entire infrastructure. We have everything in place to transport gas to Europe, and it has always flowed securely in the past, regardless of movement in relations between Europe or Germany and Russia. But if the EU imposes stricter sanctions and Russia responds by using gas as a political weapon, there is the chance that things will not remain on such a steady footing.